Speaking of uh, Sergeant Muffin, this would be a great time to mention that this show, Ritual Misery, is brought to you by our wonderful patrons at uh, patreon.com slash ritual misery and live on diamondclub.tv, care of the Muffin CDN. And there's Boob Logo right there. Everybody, Boob Logo. Is the light making it see through? I'm a little concerned about that. But not real. Hooray for Booby. Should I just stay like this the whole time? (laughs) Hello and welcome to the Ritual Misery Podcast. (laughs) Episode 109 for Thursday, the 5th of January, 2017. This is a show two lifelong friends talk about geek stuff and logo boobs. And uh, Kent, what, what the hell are we looking at right now? In your words, describe to our audio listeners what we're listening to right now. I know what you're looking at. No one else's boob looks like that with the Mitchell Rizzery. <laughs> the Mitchell Rizzery. <laughs> Local on on Tay Allen's boob. Um, yeah, you will only find that on the Ritual Misery podcast, folks. Uh, the, the Mitchell Riz- Rizzery. Mitchell Rizzery? Is that what that was? I like it. The Mitchell Wizarding Society. <laughs> Down. That's totally it right there. That's a, that's a nice shirt. That's what I'm best at. Hey, uh, is, is that our still in beta t-shirt that you're wearing right there? Is that what it says on the back? Still in beta? Yes. Is I didn't... It- I- I could show off all the different parts of the logo. <laughs> um, I, I, do, I do feel that we have to tell people that that is now gone. That shirt is no longer in print. You Limited. gave me your freaking old t-shirt? That's uh, why it was free. Uh, you uh, scoundrels. No. You scoundrels. <laughs> It was very much in circulation when you got that shirt. Yeah, by months. It just it just got pulled off yesterday. Like just, yesterday. Just pulled it off the line yesterday. That is that is pro- possibly the most pristine version of the t-shirt still eligible for the free drinks anytime we see you. True. Yes. That's so, probably Okay. Well, uh, I will absolutely a trillion percent take you up on that. I think that the theme of tonight's podcast is um used up goods. Because that's how I feel about oh my myself and this oh, shirt. No. So we're going to have to figure that out, boys. We're going to have to figure this shit out. Uh, well, we'll, we'll, have to see. we'll have to see about getting you one of the new t-shirts once they're released. Really? <laughs> For me? <gasps> who, who can turn down that face? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Tay, we we are welcoming Tay Allen back to the show. I think this is your third or fourth appearance on the show. It's always a pleasure to have you. How old have you been, Tay? <laughs> That's a loaded question, Kent. <laughs> Can we start with an easier one? <laughs> well, how's the weather in Austin? <laughs> oh, you know, warm allergies. I've been snotting like every day i think i need to move to canada for a multitude of reasons and by multitude i mean two i think they're awkward and i think i would not have allergies those are my really only necessities where i'm gonna live (laughs) got it okay well it's yeah it's definitely got to be awkward so awk awk canada i guess Uh, 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 canada (laughs) <laughs> you, you, have to, you, have, you have to you have to combine the 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 hard K sound if you're going to do that, you know. So it's got to be Akinada, right? Yeah, exactly. Canadoc is so easy. Canadoc. Oh, so better. See, this this is why you're the 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 queen of Ak right there. That's why we're not in that role. That's that's because we we are not we're not qualified. You know, you're my loyal subject. <laughs> you know, I'm wearing this proud thing, laurel wreath. Um, magical, you know, uh, jewel device. And I was going to be Taylor Moon and like put on a persona, but I'm just not feeling up to it. <laughs> I don't know whether I should leave on the crown or not. <laughs> no. Um, oh, yeah. To- it- totally leave it on. <laughs> totally leave it on. Um, me and Ken were debating be- uh, pre show. Uh, is-, is this the first time you've been on the podcast with Brunette Hair? 
No, the last time when I was in the bathroom. That's what I said. See, that's what he said, but I can't I can't agree with him because then we don't have a show. Like uh, <laughs> so we can't, okay, yeah. please battle about my multiple personalities <laughs> because someone needs to win and tell me what to do. <laughs> I don't know if we have Tay or Tate or Taylor, Tater. Yeah. I don't know who the hell we got. <laughs> well, okay, so Taylor, like, she like isn't real. She's like only diehards even know about my, you know, legal name. Shh. She is way in the ether, too boring of a name, and you know, freaking Taylor Swift. Um, don't want to talk about it, sore subject. So, <laughs> she's also 27, also from the South, also 5'9, and like, look at her career and look at mine. Okay, so let's not go there. Uh, <laughs> yeah, then- <clears throat> seriously, she does not have a, 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 a group of people dedicated to slamming her on the internet. I know. What, I what, what does she have? She has what the Swifties? Like what the hell is that? That's what the what, that's she bullshit. Doesn't have, she doesn't have taters. Yeah. No. No. I mean, you, you've got like taters. Like that's like, boom. She just she just had somebody add an ease at the end of hers. Like, like that's what yeah. stu- so stupid. Whatever. Whatever. Don't, I like I don't I don't even know why you're comparing y'all's careers because clearly the fandom is on your court, and that's really what matters. Oh. Wait. I needed to pick me up. Thank you. Hey, no, she no. she doesn't have Diamond Club like you do. That's that's oh. see that alone that alone. Like, I, cause I, I got to tell you, Diamond Club, it's it's the, the, it's where it's at. Hey, I got to yeah, tell you, I the am hardest people to win. I am super proud of Diamond Club. Speaking of which, so this this last weekend, we did a New Year's Eve streamathon. With many, many Diamond Club streamers, Chat Realm came together and raised over two thousand dollars for the Extra Life charity. So, Kit, and, Children's and Hospitals. Now, Ken, are- you say we, but really we just had the. Uh, you know, it, I, I took my dream, threw it to you. You gave me some ideas. We combined it into a big pile of shit. Threw it at Sergeant Muffin. Sergeant Muffin said, "Yes, we'll make it happen." And. Yep. With the help of a couple other highly dedicated uh, Diamond Clubbers, man, that it, it, the the Diamond Club did that. It wasn't that was not no. us. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Diamond Club is amazing. I love them. Chat Realm, you guys, you guys rocked it. Like I said, we we earned over two thousand dollars collectively yep. for the Extra Life charity, which over doubled our goal. You guys are amazing. I I know that we can count on you guys for. Whatever, whatever project we come up with, it it's gonna be taken care of. So thank thank you guys so much for that. Speaking of which, this whole week has been just my recovery period from all of that. Between starting it <laughs> off with you, all the stress <laughs> leading up to it, then being sick, like literally physically sick the day of, and not alcohol related at all, unfortunately, and then oh. having to come back and finish up with it at the end. And I'm st- I still don't even have last week's RMP <laughs> edited and ready to go because Richard decided he wanted to rant forever. And, and uh, yeah. I love that guy. And, and I'm trying to cut it, cut down the time. But every time I try to cut down the time, I find something, some other jewel that I'm going to end up cutting. And it's just so damn difficult. So that one's still on its oh. way. But this has just been a recovery week for me. That's that's all. That's that's it. Oh, and, and Tay, Tay, I want to I want to tell you. So last time you were on the show. The week after, Richard Gunther was the guest, and he was complaining. He's like, how the hell am I going to follow up a a Tay Allen show? I'm not going to be a good guest because I can't follow her. So then we did the math, and the first time you were on the show as an actual guest was our first show of the year last year. So we were building a trend, Tay. Just saying, this is two years in a row you've been our first guest of the year. Yep. We're already scheduling you for the first show of 2018, so you better yeah, pencil it in. It's done. It's done. Um, so this time, Richard finally gets to gets to beat you and be and, and lead you into the show. But I haven't even finished this episode, so it's not even released yet. Right? Yeah, we told him we told him last week when he was our guest. He because he was like, you know, the last time I was on here, you you screwed me over and had me come on after Tay. I was like, well, now this is your week for payback because. You get to be on the show, and Tay has to follow you. So well, your work's cut out for you, Tay. Not a fan of sloppy seconds. <laughs> I'm a fan of sloppy thirds, so you should have had me wait a week, gentlemen, okay? <laughs> I'm 
a little too clean for me this second. <laughs> but you are the first guest of 2017, so. Oh, that's so cool! That makes me so happy. Well, I love y'all, even in my different states of awk and multiple personalities. <laughs> oh my gosh! So I gotta give yeah. a shout out so also. You guys for doing all that fundraising and everything—that's incredible. Y'all are amazing. Yeah, yeah it's. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of work, but it was a lot of fun, and it was worth it to raise that money for the, for the kids. It was, it was great. Yeah. Um, I also I got to give a shout out to Hot Beverages. Uh, she is a dedicated Pokemon Go player, mm. and like like all the rest of us, we we all jumped on the the Pokemon Go bandwagon. What was it back in July? I think when that game came out, Sounds kind like of it, yeah. tapered off, and nobody really plays it anymore. But M has been playing the hell out of this thing, and she is a huge Jigglypuff fan and has caught a million of these things. And when we did the Diamond Club meetup in Cincinnati, uh, what is it, four months ago, probably? Four or five months ago? She promised me that there would be a ton of Jigglypuff so that I could catch one. And to no avail, there were no Jigglypuffs. Well, I played Pokemon Go this week, and guess what? I caught a Jigglypuff. So thank you, M, for believing in me and my ability to catch a Jigglypuff. I have finally did it. <laughs> you know, Ken, I think that you just caught a Jigglypuff because you knew I wouldn't talk to you unless you had a Jigglypuff. <laughs> in, uh, uh, that rock. Hashtag life goals. I'm just saying. Exactly. <laughs> yes. Hashtag 2017. Met that resolution. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, M, for allowing Tay to come on the show because she wouldn't have come on otherwise. Yeah. Uh, Almost didn't come now, on. That now, was second. Now, so Tay, saved you. Uh, apparently you've been playing a game recently as well. Yes. Okay. Do you have any Netrunner fans out there? Do you guys play? Anybody in chat? Do you guys know about this Netrunner? I'm not familiar myself. Like, it sounds like something that I know about, but I actually, I, I, I don't know. Now I'm going to have to look it up because I'm just that kind of nerd. <laughs> I am nerdier than you guys for literally three seconds. <laughs> and it's done. Okay, it's done. But for that three seconds, I was. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so Netrunner, it's kind of like magic, and there's all these cards, and there's a corporation, which is the defense, and I like to play runner, which is offense, because it's, like, aggressive, and I get to be very, like, strategic and trickery. <laughs> oh, you see, I'm getting, like, all heated talking about it, but it's great. Um, and there are, like, three different kinds of runners. There's, like, a virus, and then this chick who's, like, I'm a shapeshifter. All I want to do is, like, build economy cards. No, screw that. I play the criminal. And they, like, get in there, and they're, like, stealing stuff. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> nice. Now, is this, a, is this a physical card game? Or is, <laughs> is this, like, a, a like an internet thing? Well, Ken, what do you mean by a physical card game? Um... Hmm. Well, what I I've completely forgotten what I meant. Uh, no, but is this like a like a, a tabletop in person kind of a, a card game, or is this? It is okay. Very, yeah. So good, it's like yeah, there's tournaments, championships, very nerdy. And oh. so here's my thinking. So help me with this, and like chat room can chime in. So I'm good at this game, and I beat my boyfriend on the reg. Like. He won't admit it, but I would say 75 to 80% of the time. And I have this magic power where, like, I know how to draw the perfect card. Like, I'll go like this and then, like, swoop down and get the card I need. So I have some things going for me. I'm aggressive. Sometimes I don't read the cards or follow the directions totally. But, like, I don't really know. <laughs> so you're a cheater. Got it. Okay, copy. I'm a criminal. I'm a criminal. So <laughs> she, she's just playing the role, man. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this brown hair. I'm a serious actress, guys. Come on. Ooh, look at this thing got stuck. <laughs> All right. Well, now, now I can't come off. I can't come off for weeks. Uh, Awkward. <laughs> so true. But anyway, what I need advice on is should – so I've watched, like, tournaments and stuff. There is no other female. And I, I have a blonde wig, so I can be like Tay Tay in a hot second. Should I go into one of these championships with my like B minus skill level, but me 
with a blonde wig and make the guys so nervous, because this is like the most nerdy of the nerdy card players who do tournaments, make them so nervous that maybe I get like third. Do we think that would work? And yeah, I'm not even I, saying like, oh, I'm pretty. I, like literally just being a female because <laughs> there's no other ones. Yeah, well, no, that's that's a good strategy, actually, because <laughs> we my son used to be really into Magic the Gathering. And uh -huh. there, there's a like every Friday night they have Friday night magic at the local game shop here, and he used to go to it every single Friday. And when I would go in there, there was I think probably thirty or forty people in there, and maybe one or two were female. And these guys would trip over themselves <laughs> when, when, whenever they would be just like within five feet of one of these girls. Yeah, and I'll like spray myself in my cards with girl smell. Oh yes. Yeah the girl stuff yeah yes no absolutely and then if you could throw in a wink here and there you, or just you, you know you know what you could really do you you could get mm -hmm. one of those cards because like every game has that card where everybody just thinks it's complete crap like this card like wh nobody has this card in their deck this is the stupidest card ever <laughs> put that in your deck but like mark it right mark it just a little bit but use your, your whatever perfume or whatever you have and spray the hell out of that card <laughs> and then go around and ask people like, hey, look, look at these. I mean, I think this is a pretty good, a pretty good little set right here, right? You, know, you make like a run of like a couple combo cards or whatever and include that card in there and listen to how they will fawn over it because they're stupid boys <laughs> and they, and they want to smell the card. And they're just like, oh, my God, this card is the most imagined card ever. Like, I totally can I, can I like can I buy this card off you because I've been needing this card for my deck. <laughs> that is amazing i love that yeah oh that's so good okay so i'll do that and then i think i just need to practice and maybe you know you guys can give me some feedback remember when i learned how to like date on this show oh <laughs> all right remember that episode where we, we literally all went on a date <laughs> we, we will actually get into that a little bit later that's a that's a topic of discussion for later so yeah yeah we definitely remember okay. we're gonna, we're gonna all right I just want to point out DJM in the chat says that girls have cooties. Oh. Ooh. Well, I mean, but, but they overlooked that. Well, boys boys that uh, don't see girls don't know they have cooties. So, you know. <laughs> but, but maybe they well, want to get them cooties. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have no girlfriends except Crunchy and Cowgirl Curtis. So, I get you. I get you. <laughs> oh, man. Go. Wonderful. <laughs> um... Oh, where were we? Holy shit! Like, what? What are we talking about right now? <laughs> I don't know. I just I just I just know. Sometimes they send me a Google Doc. What's that? <laughs> With an agenda. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I may or may not have that open on a different tab. I was too busy looking up Netrunner to find out what the hell you were talking about. Um. <laughs> it took me going like this. I'm gonna make a run. <laughs> And, and then oh she flashes God. the shocker just for no reason, just like bam. <laughs> just, just what's up? It's what's up. Here's a card. Oops, you weren't supposed to see that. But were you aroused? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, speaking of crunchy, she in the chat she says girls are stupid. Oh. And, and, and she she would know she is one. I mean, <laughs> dem demographically speaking, she might have a a a, a point there. You know. Definitely got a better perspective than me and you, Amy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Our perspective <laughs> might might be somewhat biased. Uh, <laughs> but we're trying to get cuties. I'm all judgment of the female race. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a race. Hey, um, so have you ever seen the show? There's a show on, on Netflix called uh, No Men Beyond This Point. Oh, no. I just saw what this a couple of days ago. And essentially... Uh, miraculous births start happening and all the people that are born that way are girls and men are just eventually phased out over the course of like 50 years. And they're all put in the, like internment camps. Like life is good. They're eating good food and everything else. And every time they start sparking up an uprising, like, ah, we're, we want our, we want to be free again. They just give them better food and they shut up. <laughs> and like, it's, it's this <laughs> mockumentary. It's 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 completely amazing. Don't ever tell my wife I said that. But it is completely amazing. So so very funny, and it's like ninety minutes long. It's done great. It's done like mockumentary style, like interviews with the camera, and uh -huh. of course at the end of it, the dude screws everything up anyway. So 
I, go watch it. It's ninety minutes. It's on. It's on Netflix. It's not even going to cost you anything extra. It's ninety minutes of sit down with your significant under what other and just <laughs> and, and or your significant utter and just wonder <laughs> what, what the hell is going on. It's just, it's it's awesome. Just watch it. See there you go. There's there's a significant utter right there. Um, yeah, with the Mitchell, <laughs> the Mitchell Rizzery logo. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, I, I came up with a game uh, probably, I don't know, six months ago or something like that. And I've been waiting for the right guest to try this out on. Would you be the guinea bit guinea pig for a new game? Were you going to say guinea bitch? Get, well, I mean, that's what it's called now. That's what I'm going with now. Would you be our guinea bit? You're welcome. I just made your game better. Obviously, I'm the perfect person to play it. Can I make her run? <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> That's her. That's her new her new catchphrase yeah. and gang combo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! The cool girl like smokes a cigarette, and I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so I would love to play. I you never ask. So we we've been trying to come up with with bits over time that we can that we can put our guests through, and we've had a couple of them that were successful, and we've but we're always looking for something new, and I just want to throw this one out here just to try it out. Who better than Tay Allen to try out a new bit? This oh. one, I think, I think right now we're calling it Hot Takes, but I'll let you hot name take? it. If you, if you like it, you can name it. Yeah, we'll, we'll call it Hot Tay for now. Okay. <laughs> Just call me Hot Tay tonight. I can't even say it with a straight face. I can't even do it. <laughs> oh, my God. Too much. I, All right, I'll stop interrupting you. That was just look, really look, funny. Look, I'm I'm pretty sure somewhere along like I'm like maybe five miles back there were there were some rails. I'm sure they were back there. Oh we, yeah, we we left the rails way long time ago, like a half an hour ago. I think we left the rails. What's a rail? <laughs> Awkward. Okay. Um, uh, uh, we're we're not talking about cocaine again, are we? Uh no that's later oh okay all right um, so, so anyway so here's how the, so here's how this is gonna work all right so th I set this up to be a really short real quick game it's only gonna take about a minute so basically what's gonna happen is I'm gonna give you a topic and then you will have ten seconds to talk about this topic you can rant rave uh just ramble whatever it is that you want to do you've got ten seconds and then when you hear this sound. You have to stop talking and get your net next topic. So you're gonna get five topics, rapid fire, and you just gotta fill the fill the time, basically. This is literally the thing that I am worst at, and I'm not just saying this for like show value. Like any game where you have to make an association immediately, I am so bad. I just go ah. I, honestly, <laughs> I'm I not think the you, worst guess. You're gonna do really well at this game. So basically. So, for example, if I said Austin traffic, am I right? Man, they yes. can't drive, but I wouldn't know that because I've only ever done Ubers, and Uber doesn't exist there anymore. So I'm only guessing this complete and absolute garbage. I really wish they to get some decent drivers around Austin because all you want to do there is drink anyway. Like nobody wants to drive. And you need to stop when you hear that. You need to stop talking and get to your next topic. Okay, I feel like I'm about to write a ton of Tay Allen songs because it's just going to be words that don't make sense. <laughs> that is awesome. Okay, so you, are you ready, Tay? You want to try it? Oh, God, taters, give me strength. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here we go. So, Tay, internet trolls, am I right? <laughs> Timer starts when you start talking. Until then, we're just gonna laugh, sit here and laugh at you, <laughs> laughing at us. I'm this so is the excellent for the video for the video viewers. Maybe not so much for the, for the audio. <laughs> okay, I'm coming back, audio. I'm coming back. I'm so bad at this. I can only think of, of sounds. <laughs> uh, just just for, for the record, Sergeant Muffin says you got this game this game down. <laughs> You've already won. I'm crying. Um, beep, beep. Oh, cry. Okay. <laughs> what was it again? Internet trolls, am I right? Yes. Oh, you're so right. The big and hairy, like, 
some of my fans, but not all of them. And some of them are also clean and cute, like the young ones. Blondes <laughs> 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 versus brunettes. Is brunettes, am I right? Oh my gosh, that's such a confusing question because, like, I can never decide what identity I want to have. So I have a brunette and a blonde wig. I brought the brunette wig after I tied my hair brunette, and so that didn't make sense. I shouldn't have done that. Right. <laughs> Cookies. Cookies, am I right? Oh my gosh, when I did Wheat Watchers after college, I couldn't eat cookies. And I can't bake cookies either. <laughs> um, cookie, cookie, cocoa pop, cookie, cookie, meow. <laughs> cookie, cookie. Want right. to bite cookie, Self cookie, now. Self-driving cars, am I right? Uh, oh, my gosh. Technology is so confusing. And um, if I were to be a robot, I would not want to have any hair. So then I wouldn't have to answer this brunette blonde question <laughs> in the future. <laughs> <laughs> the Ritual Mystery Podcast, am I right? They are the best! I love them so much. They are my bestest friends. When I come on here, I feel like I get to be myself. And they are two of the best guys with the best hearts in the universe. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Oh, my God. So I don't know if that was a success or a, or a failure. <laughs> that was only a failure. I'm so sorry. I wish if I, I wish if we did it again, it would go better. But that's the worst moment I've ever had on media. <laughs> ever. Hey, we accomplished something with Tay. <laughs> you guys did it. It's literally the worst thing, the worst I've ever done. <laughs> uh, Sergeant, Muff, Sergeant Muffin in the chat room says, that was amazing. The best ever C+. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. That's incredible. I love you it. say that it was awkward. <laughs> that might have proved the point. <laughs> right. That was just exactly. funny, awkward, though. That was just, like, uncomfortable for everyone involved. And I'm trying to move past that later on in life now. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. So either way, either way, that was, that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> you should definitely do that with everyone in the future. Start with the worst. It only gets better. <laughs> Perfect. That, that, that might be in our new intro. I'll just take that little scene and put it right there in the intro before the show's on. Oh, and oh, I definitely man. don't get to name it. It, <laughs> it remains named. <laughs> <laughs> I did not win that power. Oh, geez. Okay. All right. So moving on. Hey, Amos, what what do you got? Um, I I got a need, dude. We just had Christmas and I didn't get everything that I wanted. Oh shit! That sucks, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, most of what I'm into is like video game stuff and, uh, 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 kind of like geek culture stuff. You know, the whole, this whole like no. geek culture resurgence thing, you know, like I, I like having like little trinkets and random shit, man. Oh yeah. Like, uh, like maybe some, some toys or like a, a hoodie or maybe, a, a, I don't know, a necklace or, um, uh, all kinds of different jewelry and, and wearables and, yeah. and. Um, yeah. Little statues to put on your on your shelf to display stuff like that. Man, if there's if there's somewhere I could go to get shit like that, like maybe maybe what if I wanted like a uh, uh, like what, what if I wanted a a SNES controller to plug into my computer for my ROMs? You know what I mean? Like something like that would just be I've got, rad. I've got the perfect place, dude. You can go to geekandgamergear.com. It's geek the letter N gamergear.com. They've got all this stuff, dude. They've got, they've got computer peripherals for gaming stuff. They've got all kinds of like little nerd statues, clothes, like all kinds of stuff, dude. They got Star Wars, Game of Thrones, Pokemon. They've got all all of your nerdy needs. Yeah, that sounds awesome. That sounds awesome. Now, if I go there, like I, you know, I already spend a lot of my Christmas cash, like. Oh, dude, 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 don't, don't worry about it. You, you got like a, you know, 10 or 15 bucks laying around, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, I just need to maximize the money that I have, you know? This stuff is so inexpensive. It's not, I don't want to call it cheap because it's high quality stuff, but it's at a very low price. But you know what's even cooler? Did if you want it at an even lower price, I've got a trick for you. Uh, you like magic trick? It's kind of a magic trick, dude. Yeah. Magic with words. You know what the magic word for this one is? What? 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 Ritual misery. Ritual misery. If you type ritual misery at checkout in the in the in the promo code block, you will get an additional 10% off your already low price. 
10% off $8 for an SNES controller. I think that makes it like $4 or something like that. Man, I'm down. <laughs> that sounds awesome. Uh, don't, don't, don't do public math. But yeah, it's, <laughs> it's super inexpensive. Check it out, geekandgamergear.com. All right, all right. Um, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go it's visit that later. Long to figure out that you guys were doing an ad. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have no, no idea until you brought the graphic up what was happening. I watched the realization just <laughs> unveil itself on your face. I watched the entire transition from, from confusion. What the hell is happening right now? Should I be saying something? Oh, wait. They're doing a bit. Oh, it's an ad. I watched the whole thing unfold in front of me. It was amazing. Oh, uh, yeah. I, 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 I love having Tay on. This is... This is <laughs> yes. Like, like it, 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 always, it always makes the week just better. Um, so one of y'all put in here for the uh, main topic, la, la, la. <laughs> Sometimes when I go to Macaroni Grill, I draw that on the paper on the table. <laughs> Is this just a Macaroni Grill thing? Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Please elaborate. So what happens if you go to Chili's? Okay. We can talk at length about both of these subjects. <laughs> So, <laughs> macaroni grill. First of all, love my bruschetta. Second of all, hangman is great, but that can only last you through half the entree. And after that, you get into that weird point where you're, like, eating and you want to color things to, like, keep your body moving because you're in a food coma, but you don't know what to do. And if you just write la, 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 la over and over and over, it is almost healing in a sense. Buddhist Tay would call that a healing experience. So that's macaroni girls. Next time you go, write la 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 all over the table and you're almost in the shining. Then when you go to Chili's, right now, Chili's, why aren't you paying me for an ad? Oh, that's right. <laughs> we saw what just happened in hot tay. Um, <laughs> Chili's has a three for 10 special right now. We're literally, I've been going to Chili's for years. Follow them on Twitter. They, like, tweet me back. We have a great relationship. Once they gave me a $50 gift card. Not for being famous, though. It's because I begged them to. But it's fine. So right now, <laughs> they have a special. Three for ten. You start with your choice of house salad or chips and salsa. The blue cheese salad is one of my favorite things in the world. Then you get chicken fajitas lunch portion. I've been going to Chili's for years getting the $8 blue cheese salad chicken fajitas lunch portion. Literally, that's my meal. But for two more dollars, what do they give you? A mini molten. Salad, chicken, uh, fajitas, and then a mini molten all for $10. What more would you want? That's amazing. And you don't even have to use an offer code for that? No, it's just there. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. That's the magic trick. That's... Thank you. Can, can someone in chat room clip me saying that so I can send it to Chili's? And if, if I get a gift card... I promise to split it with everyone who has commented thus far, including the two hosts. We may all only get 69 cents. I'll have to get your Venmo information, but I'm putting it out there right now on the internet. If someone can take that clip and put it together, I will send it, tag the show. We'll see what money we can get. Oh, there we go. Maybe. It's amazing. Deal. And, and <laughs> the Rich Women's Your Podcast next week brought to you by Chili's. Oh, God, that would be awesome. How amazing would that be? And Chili's was like the only sponsor of that, and then the Geek Store. So we, we we actually have a Chili's like right down from our right down the road from my house here in Wasilla, Alaska, except it's not a Chili's anymore. Now it's called a Locals. Oh. Uh, because apparently the Chili's here was so mismanaged that it went under. So, oh, so somebody else God. bought it, and you go in there, and it, it's just it's straight up Chili's. Like they, they took down the little the swag that was on the walls and shit, but they didn't, they, they didn't even repaint. Like it still looks like a Chili's <laughs> on the inside. You can still see the outlines of the swag that was there. And, uh, uh, worst pizza in Wasilla. I'm saying it now. Oh, I'm, thro oh, I'm throwing down the gauntlet. It's, it's not I don't good. Think, I don't think they're going to sponsor us now. Uh, <laughs> locals. Definitely not. <laughs> definitely not. <laughs> Chili's, <laughs> Chili's needs to get their asses back to Wasilla so I can go spend <laughs> more money right down the road. That's what needs to happen. Yes. Nice. You know, uh, Chili's has flatbreads, so you actually did not make fun of them because you said pizza and not yeah, flatbread. Yeah, yeah. Furbage, yeah. dude. Yeah, it's clear. Uh, yeah. Sponsorship yeah. is still attainable. <laughs> 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 oh, 
awesome. Oh so, man, Tate, you're you're an actress, yeah. That's what they're telling me nowadays, guys, and I don't get it. Is, is that what's <laughs> I, on the I, card? Like, because that's what matters. <laughs> have, have you been in anything recently? Have you have you been doing some acting? I have been in a movie about incest. <laughs> Yay. Okay. I, li- I live in the backwoods in Alaska. Tell me more. That is just <laughs> okay, <wonderful>. enough. <laughs> okay. So I'm reading. Also, you guys have to read me the comments because I can't see them. In uh, Shirley's promo code AUK. Oh, that's so funny. And a low voice barbecue sauce. Oh, good job, chat people. Okay. Um. All right. So, yes. So this this movie. So, Okay, we all know kind of my history. And, like, I did a stand-up show once. Everyone has seen it. It's really uh, awk, but people liked it. And a lot of the comments on it were, you should do this instead of everything else you do. And it was just me, like, how I am right now with you guys, just kind of talking extemporaneously. But you can't recreate greatness. I did it once, and then after that, it just was like how hot Tay just went. It just didn't go very well. (laughs) <laughs> so I kind of gave up being a comedian after, like, the first time I realized I ran out of things to talk about when no one else was talking back. I wish that, like, we could just have a career of just doing these talks. That would be so awesome because then you just get to talk with your friends and it's really cool. So, um, well, where was I? Oh, how, how I become an actress. So, yeah, I, like, went to theater school and I was really good. Um, But, so, yeah, doing this comedy stuff, I guess I made friends with, like, all of the top comedians in Austin. I don't really remember this. Don't tell them. <laughs> and we we they, can like, guarantee you they don't watch this show. <laughs> well, yet, until, you know, you tag Call Me Brother in the YouTube tags, and it pops up, and they're like, ooh, what's that? Right, yeah. <laughs> I got Tay together. Absolutely going to do. <laughs> awesome. So, yeah, so they reached out to me, and, like, they sent me a message like, hey, we want you to audition for this part. So I like kind of looked it over and it was just this chick basically cussing being a total bitch. Like the <laughs> character is, they describe it as like a bitch. Like it's Mean Girls. It's Regina George. Um, being just super mean. And what I've realized is I've been getting cast as super mean people since I dyed my hair dark. We'll come back to this. It's Ugh. been kind of, but I don't really like being mean. I just like being sassy. But again, we'll, we'll circle back. So so I go to audition for this. So my dad gets us football tickets, the USC Alabama game. It's football for the nerds out there who don't know what that is. Football is the one where you throw the ball, not where you kick oh, it. Oh, yeah. Sports Fo- ball. Foosball. Sports- Foosball is the devil. <laughs> oh, yay. Is Yaya incest. Okay. Um, I'm just making sure I'm keeping up with the realm. So, um, so yeah, so... I'm driving with him to Dallas and I have to audition for this part. And she literally says thing. And and for young viewers, I'm not saying this. My character says this, like what, what's some of like the most horrible things I said, like shut your pussy ass fucking mouth up. Like you little, like hot fucking 12 year old. (laughs) Like these are like the kind of lines that she has. So I didn't say that disclaimer. I didn't say that. I don't want to give showing up of me saying that that was a line. So, um, (laughs) You specifically requesting it not to be gift, pretty yes. much guarantees that it's now going to be gift. I did, oh, I just hit myself in the head, and this is metal. <laughs> right in my head. Is there a mark? Yes. <laughs> I love that definitive. Yes. <laughs> yes, hey, this is serious. Jeez. Okay. Um, so, uh, anyway, um. Yeah, so I I have to do this audition in the car with my dad, saying those kinds of lines. And, like, I literally show them, like, my dad, like, the producers of this movie. I, like, I'm like, hey, I'm in the car with my dad named Stacy, and he's, like, listening to this. And they were like, ah, that's kind of weird. But I nailed it. So that's how I got the part. And, yeah, she's just, like, Regina George, boobalicious, super mean. Like, they're just like, hey, where's my snack? Give me some chocolate. (laughs) More lines. (laughs) Please don't give that. It's just me, two guys. Okay. Oh, yeah, series of gifts tonight. Yeah, so many gifts. But anyway, no, it's gonna be it's gonna be really great, and like it's super funny. I think it's very dark comedy and very awkward, and I actually like think all of you in chat room are gonna love it. Like, I think it's 
super your cup of tea. Um, it's just weird enough. And like, it's basically like everything cringeworthy in a movie. And mm. then I'm in it being. So th- this movie was kickstarted. <laughs> this movie was kickstarted. It was successful. Mm-hmm. It was funded. Uh, when, so, but the movie is done, right? Like filming is, is complete on it. Yeah, we finished like a month ago and they've been moving super fast. So it should be coming out this year. And where uh, is it going to be playing at, at festivals? Like at, at South by Southwest maybe? Or where will people be able to see it? Oh my gosh. If they had it done for South by, we could all go and we could like crash the premiere. That would be awesome. That would be, that amazing. Would be amazing. I just want all my drunk diamond clubbers in the back just like screaming <laughs> the entire time words of nonsense. <laughs> I want nothing audible like that makes sense. Just <laughs> Tay. <laughs> <laughs> it's all just gonna be in the back, just shit hammer, just like yes, Tay. It's Tay. Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll cheer you on when, when you're not even on screen, and then just get real quiet yeah. anytime you're on screen. Like every <laughs> and then, and then as soon as you as soon as your scene is over and it gets real serious, we just start cheering for you again. <laughs> Perfect. We'll laugh. That's we'll laugh perfect. at the serious moments, and yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, that's so good. Yeah, like the one time when it's like, this is the odd moment, just be like, oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> there is one shot that will do really well with Diamond Club where they do like a slow pan at my body, and then I go, can I make a run? <laughs> <laughs> that's so good. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to flip that in there. Like, yeah, no, I love that. <laughs> Oh well. Um. So speaking of South by, are you going to be around? Yeah. You, you are you like definitely going to be around? And you know the definitely going to be around. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I will tell the the movie premiering would be super cool. Um. I'm not sure exactly if I'm going to have a show yet. I've kind of been working on this more like serious like Enya like music for my Tate personality. Oh. So basically, the reason I have two personalities is I have Tay. But then my agent was like, well, we need, like, a serious version. Because if I'm going to get you cast in a commercial, you can actually make money versus YouTube where you can't. You know, you, you've you got a good look and all this, you know, experience or whatever. But, like, we need to differentiate it a little bit. So that's kind of how it got started. And then also, like, growing up, my dad always called me Tate. And I always really liked it. And I was actually thinking about doing that as, like, my name instead of Tay. I don't know. It's a whole thing. So I started that up, and then I was like, well, if I have two personalities, I can do two kinds of songs. And I can do, like, weird, magical, like, dragon Enya stuff, and then I can do, like, whatever we describe Tay Allen as. So <laughs> this is where I'm at. I'm... Where is the term? <laughs> yes, yes. Just the Queen of Ock. What is – I'm looking to see what – I thought someone in chat room said, I am white, and I miss it so much. <laughs> it was <laughs> That was crunchy talking about her hair previously. <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh, okay. But it's nice of you to 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 do uh to have white tagged in your in your chat room. <laughs> uh, so anyhow, no, yeah. speaking of South by Southwest, Ritual's next project is to plan what we are going to be doing at South by. Uh, okay. Good. Will, 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 will it be a live show? Will it be just a hangout? We aren't decided yeah. yet. Hangout. I- Definitely. I know all the places, all the bar owners, everything. Hey, well, a hangout will definitely happen, but we're thinking about, we, we were talking about last year, the possibility of doing a live show, but that never happened. I think this year we are actually going to do a live show in Austin. At it, it, it's it's really a matter of finding a place to do it. Um, mm-hmm. Somewhere central to where a lot of people could show up and figuring out a date. But I think if we do it Thursday night, just in a r- normal time slot, it'll, It'll be before the before the yeah. South by kickoff. So, it yeah. That, well, that's I help probably. um I help Brian and Justin find their spaces. Cool. Yeah, yeah. we'll probably we'll probably be hitting you up for some uh, ideas and possibly a favor. Like, hey, could you talk to that guy for <laughs> us? <laughs> if not, we'll just, if not, we'll just uh... my soul talent. <laughs> well, if, if, if not, we'll just I can talk to that guy for you. <laughs> <laughs> no, but if anybody, but if anybody in chat realm has any ideas or anything that they would want to see for a ritual misery live show, especially if you're going to be in Austin for South by, Weak. let us know. Yeah, <laughs> let us know 
and we will th- th- there's a good chance that we will implement at least part of your idea into our live show so really looking forward to, to getting the, the planning rolling on this we've got about what is it now about two months uh right uh, ahead, yeah um, literally yesterday because everything books up super fast not to put pressure on you <laughs> right so, uh, um, quick let's get the post show so we can <laughs> um yeah and if i mean if nothing else we'll just all uh we'll just uh uh crash crunchy's place and and kick her out and uh because because cause, it'll be our luck she'll have to work that night anyway so you know it's like whatever right um <laughs> i promise crunchy, we'll take good care of your place yeah <laughs> She's already getting defensive about it. It's so awesome. Um, she's like, guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, hey, uh, do you guys have New Year's resolutions? Is that something you guys do? Mm. No, because I, I used to <laughs> try to do that, and no, they're, they're useless. I break them immediately. And Brian Brushwood kind of talked us out of it last year. He's like, don't make resolutions. Make goals. He's like, Okay. So we made some goals and we hit some, we didn't hit some, but resolutions guaranteed to fail, at least for me. Yeah. Yeah. I I, I, I've kept my last two resolutions. Uh huh. What did you say? In 2009, my resolution was to get my passport that year. I got it. <laughs> in, I got it in like March, uh, which means it's going to be expiring here so, so shortly. And uh, the <laughs> following year, my only resolution was to not make any further resolutions and thus far i have nailed it several years in a row high five (laughs) high five awesome so uh tay do you have any resolutions for the year i wrote them down hold on (laughs) i guess that's a yes (laughs) right (laughs) we probably probably should answer that beforehand (laughs) So while, while we're waiting on Tay to bring her resolutions, uh, you had something to talk about uh, CGP Grey. Uh, well, that, that leads directly out of the uh, out of the resolutions. Um, I'm oh, back. Oh, 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 wait, well, whoa, whoa, whoa! She's got she's got Dosakis, which okay, good. I mean, it, it's not Amber, but I mean, we'll take it. And uh, and she's got a book. You're lucky it's not Michelob Ultra, my favorite beer. <laughs> Oh God! That's not even. That's not even beer. <laughs> like bubbly seltzer water stuff. With a slight, yeah. with a slight hint of piss. Um, so <laughs> you, you have a book. <laughs> I do. A fourteen-year-old gave this to me. Um, make today amazing. That yeah. looks like a clipboard. Is that a clipboard? Oh. Oh yeah, it's like a clipboard book. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Resolutions, guys. Just a clipboard. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a clip book. <laughs> A book for things. Oh, something fell out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, quick. The most awkward situation to hear that phrase uttered. Um. Tampon. <laughs> okay. I'm not getting fast stuff. Uh, <laughs> I guess. Uh, Fel- Felicio in a theater. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so I'm gonna. I'm just gonna go with with Mediac in the chat. Gynecologist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be pretty awkward, especially if I was oh, a gynecologist. Someone says I'm going to bring out a scroll. Ah, uh, ne- I'm so sorry I disappointed you. I feel like I have never disappointed chat room in my life until this was not a scroll. I am so sorry. I, I, I don't Please know. Please take it to me. I'm not myself. <laughs> <laughs> you, you you brought out a clip book, which immediately dropped something on you. So <laughs> I, I'm gonna say that might make up for it. Hey, okay. real quick, real quick okay, Amos, hold on, hold on, Tay. Before you get into your resolutions, Crunchy is calling you out, Amos, for saying that oh. you would lose 35 pounds this year. Oh, a resolution. Th- see, that's <laughs> that's not a resolution. However, that's not something I'm resolving to do. That's something that. Um, is a matter of timing. And I'll get to that here in a second as well. Okay, all right. We'll, we'll back to, to, to So, that, so Tay, Tay, what kind of resolutions you got? Okay. These are very serious. <laughs> <laughs> Just share at your own discretion. <laughs> well, we 
we all know I would share them all, but I don't know if they would be very interesting. Let's see if I have any. <laughs> how about this? How about how about this? How about you tell us the resolution, then me and Kent will come up with the optimal situation to break the resolution without guilt. Oh, the, perfect. Okay, this is great. Oh my gosh, I get to be the serious one. See, look, this brown hair, it just changes everything. <laughs> Except that. That still happens. And you still have the forehead mark. Okay, I oh good, perfect. I will do the rest of this podcast with the forehead marks. <laughs> First resolution: Walk every day. Okay, okay. That, I mean that that's easy enough. I mean, uh, uh, maybe, uh, yeah, may, so. maybe, maybe, maybe you maybe you get tired of walking and you start running every day instead. I was gonna say get hit by a car and break your legs. See, see, I'm the <laughs> pessimistic God. one, Ken. I'm the pessimistic one. <laughs> no, no. Okay, good. We're gonna do. Wait, give me. You each must come up with a team name, and I shall crown the victor. I'm spoiling my year. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, uh, my team. I'll I'll be on on Team Lannister because I am wearing a ten, Tyrion Lannister shirt. Ah, he can I know things, so I'm Team Lannister. Um, I'm gonna be on Team Chamberlain. Team, okay, La- and I will talk like this. <laughs> <laughs> actually- Lannister oh, no. and Chamberlain. Next, one point, Lannister. Point number two, make my Tate EP. Who Uh, can read it the fastest? Could you please repeat that? Because I I think what I heard is not what you said. (laughs) (laughs) Thank you, Kent. I was... (laughs) What did you hear? (laughs) Um, uh, yeah, the, the chat, would... chat room's agreeing with this. Uh, we probably shouldn't comment on your taint. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely heard something about uh, maybe, maybe eating a taint. We got people um, putting down their coffee. Like chat room just kind of died right there. Like, <laughs> uh, I, I don't, so, I don't, I don't think, I don't think with... we need to mess with that one. I think you've got that one covered. I think that one's good to go. <laughs> You, 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 you can make you can make your team said. anything you want to make it. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! So, hey, Amos, check out my uh, show yeah, title. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. oh, I'm so nervous. All right, well, <laughs> boy. <laughs> <laughs> Point Mediac WT Actual F. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this so bad? Okay. Three. Get into a good... I can't get over the last one. Get into a good work, art, play, life, rhythm. Um, I, You could break the rhythm by listening to a Taylor Swift album. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Or or you could just synergize all those and make it where it's all the same thing, and then you don't have to worry about a rhythm because it's just always happening. Did you know that rhythm is a dancer? It is. It's a source for, for magic. <laughs> Point! <laughs> Chamberlain! <laughs> I like a good fight. <laughs> I'll, hey, I'll, t- I'll take all the pity points you want to throw at me. I'm good with it. <laughs> Hey guys, here's what I have. One thing I've learned in my career: take all the pity you can, all the time. <laughs> Fish for it at every possible opportunity. This show specializes in pity points. Uh, right. Indeed, indeed. All right, are we enjoying this? Do we want to keep going? Yeah. Keep going, keep going. This is fun. Okay. No caffeine. Ah, but see, what if someone buys you a Red Bull and vodka? You can't turn that down. So, done. Point, Chamberlain. Done. Um, of uh, course. Duh. God damn it. You basically <laughs> played. I was going to say, instead of caffeine, just get drunk all the time. Oh. Uh, for alcohol. I appreciate that he thought that someone would want to buy me a drink. So, yes, Point, Chamberlain. Ooh. Uh, Tang Talon will make Chat Realm America great again. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> I am here for you. 
Oh my god. Thank you for that, <laughs> Rob. She has redone now, the crown. Yes. We, now we, it, it's like this. And we didn't we didn't even mention the fact that you have got you got skinny girl legs on the wall behind you. Like that didn't that never even came up. I'm just all parts of change. <laughs> <laughs> The, I knew we'd find a theme for this episode. The the Taylor Moon bit has turned into the Taint <laughs> Out. Like, I'm trying to make you a new Taylor Moon, and it turned into Taint Out. I will make America great again. How does this happen? Um. Yeah. Hashtag Auk. Uh, yeah. Oh my god. Taint <laughs> turned a Red Bull and vodka down. Are you guys reading these comments? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Show us day. <laughs> oh, oh, why, oh, why didn't we vote for Tay Allen for president? Thank <laughs> you. Oh, these are great. Because uh, she was so high, though. Amazing. Okay. Speaking, of, speaking of, of uh, presidential runs, may I remind you that I am the current, uh, 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 shit, was it unendorsed president of Diamond Club? Uh, Unsanctioned. Really? Unsanctioned, yes, you are indeed. <laughs> Amos is the unsanctioned president of Diamond Club, as anointed by John Teasdale, co-creator of The Contender. Mm -hmm. So it's it's. So I would say I would go so far as to say it's semi-official. Uh, that you, but definitely, uh, but de awesome. definitely unsanctioned. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it has, it has well. not yet endorsed by the, jury the, the uh so, the, the 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 presidency thereof may be in contention at south by it, it, may, it may be a challenger uh, uh at south by good point and i think that will add you to the cabinet of <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh, that, that may hold that may hold some sway in some courts we have a court system oh, I'm, I'm in my. I'm I might just hide in a cabinet. I'm putting that on my business card. I promise you. I'm going to put that on my business card. <laughs> yes. Perfect. It should be You're there. Welcome. Okay. I so love how somehow we made the disaster that I am today make sense. That's what I love about you guys. <laughs> I am the hottest of hottest messes with like an identity crisis, and I showed up wearing a crown. And somehow we brought in the legs. Somehow we brought all of it together, so thank you. It's it's all chat room. It's all chat room. <laughs> you chat room for helping us with that. Yeah. yeah, they they take all the good. We take all the bad. It works itself out. Yeah, we get the blame. They get the credit. <laughs> yeah. So good. All right, do we have time for uh for a couple more? We're we're coming close in our hour, but I don't think anybody will mind. Okay. Yeah. What um, else? Well, I just. I just did one of my resolutions. You guys suck. How could you let me do my resolutions? You have failed. <laughs> I'm going to come after you. What, my next resolution was find my people. <laughs> and just did. Done. I'm now, I'm now running for president. <laughs> in 2020? 2020. Is that now? 20, it, right. How, 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 how ironic is it that we're going to have a chance to, Vote Trump out in 2020, or vote taint in. See, but I mean, even both, both work. Old enough. Both Can you work. imagine a Trump Trump taint? Oh <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, debate. <laughs> the Trump taint debate. <laughs> Jesus. I'll, uh, I'll run for the dark horse party. <laughs> <laughs> the Ock party. Come on. Ah, uh, there we go. Yes. The Ock party. Yes. No even party. Uh, Just ha <laughs> ha ha okay. Ha hashtag so, make America so awk again. Yes, yes. I think we have to credit DJM for that. It definitely Trump taint. Trump taint. Oh my god, these are so you'll, good. You'll these Rob so says good. hashtag make America be awk again. Yes, yes. Oh <laughs> running running mate. Ooh. Should we let the games begin? Oh, uh, who's gonna Who's gonna be awk enough to actually be your running mate in four years? Wait, uh, it's a new year. Years. Should four we years. make that a goal? I will do that right now. Where I give everyone this year 
whoever can prove to me that they are the awkwardest, I'm serious, I will retweet everything that's hashtagged make, it, make America Awk again, and you will be my running mate. Whoever does this year, I will make a video announcing that I'm running with that person. Now, now, what are the parameters here? What are the parameters? We're, we're going to have, okay, so hashtag make America awk again, make right? Make America awk again. Okay, okay. So what, 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 are the, what are you looking for? What, what would qualify them as a, a, uh, a definite candidate for this process? Okay. It's oh, this is so cute. L love Trump's taint. Wait, love Trump's taint? That means I'm down, bitch. That's not cute anymore. <laughs> what about that? <laughs> You're lucky you scrolled up. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, yeah, beat you up. Um, Thank God don't, for don't give that. Don't give that. So what I am looking for is someone who does not have quite a sense for social norms. Shameless in every single way possible is a necessity. <laughs> Absolutely shameless. Um, comfort with accidental nudity. Um, Someone who can balance my incredibly high-pitched giggle with a low guffaw. And I would like to see from my potential candidate a sense of humor. And by sense of humor, who can find me the most uncomfortable, but they don't know it's uncomfortable, video on YouTube. And that last one will probably be the main deciding factor. When I became a YouTuber, or back before I became a YouTuber, when I was just in college making my vids with friends for fun, I loved YouTube because I would send the most weird, uncomfortable, awkward YouTube videos to my friends on their birthdays. And they always knew they were going to get one. And that's what I fell in love with, was that it was just a put no channels, none of this daily vlogs, like literally, like let's find some weird Swedish music video and I'll make fun of it. So whoever can send me that will get the grand prize. All right. There we go. You you have your challenge, chat room. You have your challenge. <laughs> um, so real quick, <laughs> as, as we scoot out of here for the evening, um, yes. I, I mentioned that I, I didn't make any New Year's resolutions, but I, I, do, I listen to pretty much everything CGP Grey puts out. And uh, CGP Gray is awesome. He's got a couple podcasts. He does tons of YouTube videos uh, in the educational arena. And is one this of another the... ad? Mm -hmm. No. Is this no. another ad? No. Oh. Um, I, I, I'm, at, I'm genuinely fanboying out. Um, he, uh, <laughs> he, he, he did this, this podcast one time, and he talked about his year of less. And it was less um, in, in which... It, it was less distractions, le fewer things that took him away from family and and uh, career and things like that. Less social media, less uh, wasted time, all that kind of stuff. And I'm actually doing kind of the opposite this year. I'm going to do more. This is going to be my year of more, more effort, more production, more um, more more social media engagement, um, more effort into reattaining my my ideal weight, crunchy. Um, <laughs> more uh more responsibility and more interactivity uh su such as you know i'm gonna I'll regularly basis pu uh share my weight on twitter because well if if tweet if if twitter can't shame me into keeping keeping up with my goal then nobody can um oh, you great though. so, so uh, everybody so. everybody add amos on your twitter right now it's at ethan kane Add him so that you can harass him about his weight constantly. <laughs> That'll be the motivation that he needs. There we go. Constant there harassment. <laughs> there we go. So that, that's my uh, that's that's my theme this year is year of more. I want to be I, I want to be the, a better husband, a better podcaster, a better father, a better employee. Oh. For as much as I hate my job, a better employee. I want to be just a year uh, uh, more of all the things that make my life worthwhile. So that's that's my theme for the year. That's wonderful. I totally support you in that. And if you give me the most awkward YouTube video of all time, maybe you can be my running mate. We'll see. I don't want to make any promises. Everybody should do that too. Get on Twitter and use hashtag make America awk again. <laughs> I'm so excited about this. That's, like that's... everyone's been complaining about the election. This is what we needed. None of that other fancy political stuff. 
this is what we have to do. (laughs) Exactly. Yes, make (laughs) politics fun. (laughs) Make America (laughs) awk again. Yes. Um, Um, There's uh, there's one more thing we have left, right? You want to do the introduction? Oh, yeah. Is it my turn to introduce? Tay, speaking of new bits, we added a new bit right after the last time you were on our show. We actually considered you for it, but it wasn't ready yet. It wasn't fully cooked. Thank right. God you didn't let me test it out because we saw how tonight went. <laughs> right. Well, but the bit is in full effect, and we've been playing all night, unbeknownst to you. We are playing Tay Libs, where we take a, uh, uh, what's it called? Li- um, Mad Libs. Mad, li- Mad Libs. Thank you. A Mad Libs style story, and we've been harvesting the conversation the entire night. Or keywords, no. and we've been plugging them into a document that auto fills a story, and we have oh, a story no. just for you. Is no. it my turn to read, Amos, or is it yours? I, I think it's mine. I'm not sure. Um, but either way, these are our notes from our last episode. We tried to get you to get through your awkwardness on a date and. <laughs> Try to. Uh, uh, I think uh, maybe it was the one before that, but we we talked about your your dating and how just awful it was going, and we tried to help you out with that, and uh, apparently it worked because now you have a, an actual boyfriend, which is which is awesome. Um, so we're gonna take some of the notes and we're gonna read those so other people can be helped. By, be uh, be helped by by your efforts and, uh, and yes. your style. Yes, will take credit for everyone's successes in their personal life. Yeah. Oh yes, you did. We did that practice and then poof, one appeared. Yes, exactly. <laughs> like literally, how did that happen? <laughs> good job, A, and good job us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Okay, I'm so excited. Here are um, uh, here is here is Amos uh just about knocking his microphone off of his stand. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, we were talking about before the show. I think my mic cord is going bad and uh clearly the case. Um <laughs> Here are some easy tips on making your first date go extemporaneously. Make sure you are wearing something awk. You don't want to have to worry about your boob logo all night. And and it may sound healing, but wear very well shoes, too. You may be walking around a lot. Try to plan something that you both like to do, like winning. It doesn't have to be expensive or blonde, and it can still be fun. If you're nervous, make it a group outing. Tell all your aggressive friends together and take a trip to the local game shop. You'll feel much more comfortable. Find out what time your mom and dad expect you to be home. You don't want to, you don't want to be gave because you missed your curfew. <laughs> oh what? my gosh, that's actually pretty accurate. That's pretty good. <laughs> so, oh man, so th- those are the tips that Tay used behind the scenes to find herself. A, a great loving hu- boyfriend. I almost said husband. Oh, I'm not trying to. I'm not, I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to curse you. Um, oh my god! You. <laughs> I knew I should not come on this show. I, I, I've been a husband twice now, and I'm gonna. I'm, I'm just gonna say, just like, um, just just like uh, uh, Crunchy can say that the girls are 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 are, are whatever she said they were because. <laughs> I, I, like I think I remember, but I'm not going to try to get it wrong and then be responsible for it myself. Um, husbands are the worst. I'm just just flat out. Husbands are the worst. Why? Uh, boyfriends are better than husbands. <laughs> Do what? I said boyfriends are better than husbands. Yes, boyfriends are still trying to trying to impress you. Husbands have given up given up on life. They're um, trying to get the booties. <laughs> Guys, why did you do all this work to find me a boyfriend? <laughs> I'll just have to be president. <laughs> there you go. Hey, Make t- America talk again. Tay, uh, not, that, not that people don't know where to find you, but in case they want to make sure they get all the details and some, uh, some previous examples of, of exactly what awk is, where can people find you? Um, yes, the Tay Allen, T H E T A Y A L L Y N. I Snapchat all the time. Not because I like it, but let's be it's really convenient. <laughs> um, so if you have a Snapchat and you're not following me, please do. I'll follow you back. I also want to see your stories. Um, I haven't been like tweeting as much because I feel like no one looks at Twitter. I don't know. I feel like all the social media is stuck right now, but I've been snapping a lot because that's fun. You get to share your life. And that one is only 
T-A-Y-A-L-L-Y-N. There's no the. So that's confusing. So Tay Allen on Snapchat. And then if you want to follow my alter ego, who we are currently developing, and we don't know how that's going to go. No, it's not Tate. It is Taint, T-A-I-N-T, Allen, A-L-L-Y-N, uh, at Hotmail.com. And you can send all business inquiries there. <laughs> Excellent. And so be it. It is now so. Um, Kent, what about you, man? Oh, God. All right. So wait, 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 wait. We have some feedback. Right. Yeah, that's what I was I was I was going to get to that. I was going to say I am on Twitter at RM underscore Del Noche. That is the place to follow me. You can also email us with whatever ideas you have about the show, any feedback you got, whatever. Ritual Misery Podcast at gmail.com. You can email us just like obviously a super fan did. Uh, we got it. We got an email. Uh, Viagra yeah, I, pill on uh, sale in Africa. N- 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 oh, Nabila, n- Nabila Mustafabin. Uh, yeah, let's <laughs> go with that. Um, so thank you. Um, <laughs> Nabila for email. Yeah. Well, Nabila, Nabila Mustafabin says, uh, my yeah. name is Miss Grace. I saw your contact information address at the site today. Comma. <laughs> it's all one sentence. It's all one sentence, and it ends with a comma. Um, um, and, and, you know, I, I, I got to say, I got to say, Kent, it's feedback like this that keeps this show going. Things, yes. It, it, I, when we just get random, uh, random sentences, we know that we are really having a, a, a solid impact on our viewership. Yes. So, I'd like for you to send me her information so I can put her in the running for running mate. Yes, because she is <laughs> hashtag make America awk again. <laughs> uh, so thank you, Miss Grace or Nabila or whatever your real name might be. Mr. Coven. Um, uh, be like, be like Miss Miss Grace, and send us feedback. You you Ritual- can just you can just say anonymous diamond clubber, and we'll just read that. I mean, you don't you don't have to put anything else. Just <laughs> Ritual Mystery Podcast at gmail dot com, or if you're really cool, you can go to iTunes and give Ritual Misery a review, a five star <laughs> shitty review. We want five star completely crap reviews. Yes, f- yes, That's absolutely. Awesome. Give us five stars and write like these guys are the biggest fucking idiots on the internet. You know, whatever, whatever that's the ever. worst. Worst, worst ever. <laughs> <laughs> and, and and keep in mind that you, if you've already reviewed the show, because a few of you have, if you've already reviewed the show, you can go back in there and update it on a regular basis. Yes, yes, and, and you don't have to delete the old stuff. You can just start <laughs> annotating, make a log of how awful the show is. Or uh, you know, if you if you think that the the only saving grace of the show is uh, Taint Allen, um, by all means, be able to put that in there too. Yeah, I, absolutely. I, I want to see chats of Taint. Chance, just just Taint, 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 oh Taint, God. Taint, all the way through <laughs> iTunes. That's what I want on all the five star reviews. That would be. Amazing. I think this visual needs to be a cover of something. My crown that's stuck and your t shirt. <laughs> Tate's new profile pic, right there. Yep. <laughs> oh my god, that is the, well, it's her cover photo because it's horizontal. Come on, guys, who are you? <laughs> okay. I, 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 I will, uh, I will trim that out and uh, make sure that that makes its way through the through the group later. Okay, um, perfect. And hey, your wall. Hey, uh, Kent. Uh, people can find me at Ethan Kane, E T H A N C A I N E on Twitter. And what do we have in store for next week? I we don't want to hear that for me. <laughs> we are excited to let everyone know that didn't hear it announced last week. Jason Murphy is our guest for next week, aka Captain Murphy. Yep. He is oh, co-host of the a, Modern he's Rogue. A friend. Yeah, he's he's a fellow Austinite, right? Yeah, we're actually like really good friends, and me and Allison are like super tight. They are so cool. We'll hang out with them a lot. When you guys are here in March, I didn't mean to steal his thunder there, but <laughs> did I? Yeah. So <laughs> join us. Join us next week. Same same bat time, same bat channel. We will have Jason Murphy. Uh, looking forward to chatting with him. Uh, we've already said that he's a he's the star of Modern Rogue. 
his sidekick Brian Brushwood is also on that show. Uh, he's a he's an oh, author. He does all kinds of cool stuff. I an audio in his book. Have you guys read his book? No, not yet. Uh, black. What is it? Uh, uh, black. Black goat. Black goat motorcycle something club. Shit. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to get good at this before he comes on the show next week. Yeah. 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 Good, good if, job if introducing our to... next guest, man. <laughs> yeah, I play the detective in the audio book. Oh no, kidding! That is uh, awesome. yeah. We're gonna Super have to. Cool. We're, we're definitely gonna have to promote that. Oh, that yeah, is so cool. that if, if only exciting. if only we were like every other podcast in the entire world and, and had an uh, uh, an audible affiliate. Man, oh, we should right? we should really work on that. Um, so, uh, if you want to buy a, a, a t shirt similar to the one that, that Tay is wearing, um, that's not gonna be nearly on, as cool. Here. And I'll put a beer in it. Let's see, there there we go. Beers and boobs Bill and uh, 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 I'm I'm losing track of my thoughts right now. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, uh, ritualmisery.com yeah. slash swag. Cruise on by there. We're gonna have some new stuff up, and of course we we'll have to ship one out to Tay because she's all but hurt that she got the uh, the the original, the OG T-shirt. My, our bad. Um, yeah, yeah and, who, uh, who complains about being an OG? But uh, <laughs> Tay will because she's awkward. <laughs> yeah. Only want to be third best, guys. Okay, sloppy <laughs> third. <laughs> um, and of course, if you're enjoying this show, just stop on by, be in chat realm. Come on by, uh, diamondclub.tv Thursday nights at nine Pacific. Uh, just c- come on by, just jump in chat room, and join the fun. Uh, it's actually nine Central. Whatever, dude. <laughs> um, but yeah. So anyway, uh, look us up. Just follow us on 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 Twitter at ritual misery and you'll know when we're going live. Why don't you go we'll back to, yeah, to and insulting the guest. He uh, has an article about the book. Yes. Thank you. Fitz. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, well, seriously, just like really quick. It's been a while since I talked to you guys and like, since I did chat room stuff and cause I've been filming these movies and being an actress, which we'll see how much longer that happens. It's kind of boring. Um, <laughs> not as fun as this um but this was so awesome and like literally i'm just like so happy to like be back in this with people with my sense of humor and i love you guys and i love chat room and i love diamond club and i'm so happy that i'm gonna get to see a bunch of you in march like that really is the most exciting thing i'm not just saying this like i I needed this so thank you everybody all right and uh, of course you can find all the show notes for this show and more information about tay because we're going to link directly to all her many uh the, the the many faces of tay uh the ma- the many taints of tay uh will be directly <laughs> linked in the show notes you can find all that at ritualmisery.com uh thank you so much to kevin mcleod for allowing us to use your music for this podcast and so many other podcasts that don't even give you credit it's it's a shame but uh awesome stuff over at incomtech.com Thank you for listening, for Kent, for Tay, and for me, and of course for you. This has been your Ritual Misery Podcast. Bye! Bye. Hopes you have enjoyed this role. He's, he's playing the music, and he didn't he didn't patch it correctly because we can't hear it. Oh, is that what's going on? Yeah, I noticed that at the beginning. I didn't want to say anything at the beginning because, you know, why make it more awkward than what it needs to be? Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this role. <laughs> oh, so you want some more Tay Allen, eh? Well, cruise on over to patreon.com slash ritual misery, and you can get an extra 14 minutes of this podcast in the unedited version. That's patreon.com slash ritual misery. And subscribe to any Patreon level.